What's good guys, if you want the cheapest and most reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com, save 5% of foot coins, buying with the code DAN, next time you guys want to buy some coins and make your team even better, also if you ever want to sell your FIFA 23 coins, you can go again on the website and sell to them as well in this section right here. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to your channel, y'all boys. And today we're gonna go ahead and review an SPC that EA dropped earlier, 87 rated Radu. He looks pretty decent, really cheap. He's under 50,000 coins. If I do sound a little bit voice, it's because I can't really scream right now or talk loudly, so I do apologize for that. But we're looking at a car that's six foot, medium high, left foot, double three star combination on the skill moves and weak foot, 82 pace, 69 shooting, 75 passing, 79 dribbling, 80 defending, 83 physicality. And he has really no traits in game that transcend into his in game performance. So we're looking at a card that has 82 pace with a split of 78 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. So we're gonna give him the shadow chemistry style. I feel like that's split is not exactly ideal at this stage of the game defending is already really high so i like that a lot which means with the shadow chemistry style all the defending stats are basically going to get maxed out i think physicality is already good enough with the 84 strength and 90 aggression acceleration is going to go up to 86 and sprint speed is going to go up to 93 um he is six foot you guys know how i feel about cbs that are under six two i'm not really too confident in those type of cbs unless they're like moments kind of viral in those type of center backs but mr radu is going to be playing with this team right here he's going to be playing on three camps so don't you guys worry about that and he's going to be playing as a left center back in a 4-3-2-1 right next to 88 rio so if you guys are on a budget before team of the year and if you guys need like a good center back we're gonna see if this guy is good i mean he's under 50,000 coins he has some good defending and physicality stats Will he get wide balled in these games? We're gonna play in the late division, by the way. So let's see the vibes. All right, in our first game with the car, we're going against Soccer Centro. So we're gonna see what type of team he's rocking with. Decent back line, really good midfield, and really good attack. So it's definitely gonna be a good test for the SPC. Nice shot, good interception. Okay, that was nice. Nice job by Radu getting in the way there. Nice tackle, good shit. Great interception, man. Good positioning. And good pass out the back as well. Oof. Nice. Let's see, Radu versus Jarzinho. Can't get the ball back. We're trying to win this ball. That's tough. We had to win it with somebody else. Nice. Nice shot by Radu getting that ball back nice and clean. Loses it versus Zizu, unfortunately. Gets the ball back. We love to see that. Nice aggressive tackle from Radu. He easily gets the ball back from Jarzinho. Little turn right there. Nice. Tight turn out the back, but he managed to get it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got a two-on-one situation. Let's see if Radu can clamp it up. See what we get out of this. Yes, he does. Yes, sir, Radu, man. Good tackle right there. Nice tackle. Good job tracking back that Y ball. Nice. I thought we were going to get Y ball right there, but he didn't let that happen. Nice. 
great interception. Mr. Radu with the clutch tackle in the 82nd minute. Let's go. Good interception again. All right, guys, that concludes the review for Mr. Radu, the SBC, coming around 32,000 coins from scratch on the Xbox and PlayStation, 35,000 coins on the PC. So really, really cheap option. Um, comparing this card to his gold version because we didn't have another special card earlier. Plus 27 on the pace, plus 5 on the shooting, plus 10 on the passing, plus 11 on the dribbling. Plus 9 on defending and plus 14 on the physicality. So really, really good and noticeable boost. So pros right off the bat with this card is the physicality from the card. Whenever he does tackle, he does win every single tackle. He does win the ball a lot of the time. So I do like that a lot with the combination of the 84 strength and the 90 aggression. It makes the card, you know, very physical in the back with his presence. Um, another thing I like about this card is the 90 interceptions. If you do manually select this card correctly, you will win the ball nine times out of 10. He does intercept the ball, no dumb rebounds or anything like that. Um, another pro is the 80 agility with the combination of the 79 ball control and the 77 balance. He feels pretty good in his jockey game. He feels pretty good whenever you're turning out the back in tight situations. He can definitely pass as well, so I like that a lot. Um, with the 84 short pass so i like that a lot i like that he's not a super clunky defender so um one kind i will say from the card is the acceleration you obviously do notice the acceleration not being up to par from defenders like lucio uh real desai you know those type of players obviously those are the big boy defenders like tomoy varan militao but obviously you do notice a difference Obviously, not only from the price range, but the quality of the card. So just be on the lookout. It's not that he's going to get wide balled every single time. But if he does get wide balled, he's not really going to catch up to the attacker. He doesn't have that acceleration to catch up. So just be on the lookout for that if you do complete this card. Um, other than that, he's a really solid card. The best aspect from what I like about him is that he's very physical. And that he wins every single tackle. His positioning on the pitch is very, very good as well. So... He's a usable card if you're in a budget, you're saving up for team of the year, that type of stuff. He's basically really, really cheap, under 40,000 coins. Uh, he is usable at this stage of the game, so get the thumbs up for me. And rating-wise, I'm going to give him a 8.0 out of 10. I thought he was a little bit above average, nothing crazy, but he's a really good option if you're running a Serie A team and you just need a defender to use for the next couple of weeks until, you know, this team of the year promo is over. So thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. Let me know what you guys think about this card. If you guys do complete them and about this promo, man, sorry about the lack of uploads. The past couple of days is just this promo really killed my motivation. And it's, I've been, you know, dealing with a lot of stuff personal in my personal life as well. So I do apologize on that part. But I will be dropping another video tomorrow. Be on the lookout for that. It's going to be a special rankings video. Um, thank you guys so much once again. It's been your boy, Dan FIFA, and I'm out. Bye-bye.